What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're gonna talk about Treat Toad, and... Wow, Konami. Really? <laughs> really? You had to make this? This card is just... Wow. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about some new frog support today that actually works with anything that can use Aqua Monster, so that means anything that can also use Bahamut Shark. Can you uh, can abuse this card and uh, Bergstoma, I guess, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we are gaining a new terrifying XC monster today. So hope you guys are looking forward to that because uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and read off his stats and everything, then we'll talk about it. It is a Water Aqua XC monster, rank two, 2,200 attack, zero defense, requires two level two Aqua type monsters to XC seven into it, and its effect is uh, once per turn during the standby phase, you can detach one XC material from this card, special summon one frog monster from your deck, except frog the jam. Once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect, you can send one Aqua type monster from your hand, filled to the graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, then you can set the destroyed card on your field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one water monster in your graveyard, add it to your hands. So yeah, is anyone else getting some heartburn right now? Anyone? <laughs> because this is terrifying. First off, obviously you can use this with frogs. I mean, there you go, even in the artwork, you're seeing frog cards. So that's kind of terrifying in itself because frogs are not fun to go against. They can be fun to use, but if you're the opponent, yeah, not so much. <laughs> so that first effect goes great with frogs, obviously, on that. But that, the thing about this card is it can actually work with other art types and other decks, not just frogs. Yeah, you won't get that first effect, but uh, who cares? I mean, that second effect is terrifying in itself. So, of course, uh, first off, if you have a deck that can bring out Bahamut Shark, you can also bring this card out. Also, you have the Bergstoma cards, which are Korean exclusives. I don't think... Uh, we have them yet, I don't even think the OCG has them yet, so hopefully we'll see some kind of uh, reprints or something on those for us, especially in the TCG, at some point. And uh, also with that, what I'm thinking about is Gradle Slime Jr. That was a card that was revealed, I didn't get the chance to make a video on it, but uh, like I said, I'm going to start <laughs> trying to keep up with all these new cards we're getting and make videos on them, but anyway, yeah, that makes me wonder if I can use this with Gradle Slime Jr. and maybe even Gradle Kaijus in some form, which uh, could be a lot of fun. I don't know, I want to test that out, actually. But uh, yeah, with this card's effect, first off, that second effect is just... Wow. Konami, what were you thinking? But uh, yeah, this is great new support for frogs. I am kind of happy to see new support for frogs, because yet again, we're seeing new support for old archetypes. I asked for that, like, in every video, so I am happy to see that. But it is a really good XC monster. Being able to special summon a frog monster from your deck, except of course frog the gem, always left out, right? Uh, which is really good for frogs. That second effect where you're able to, uh, when your opponent activates a spell or trap or a monster effect, you're able to send an aqua type monster from your hand or field to the graveyard and negate it. And then you're able to set that card on the field, which is obviously very good because you're able to set the card on your side of the field. You just took away their spell or trap or monster effects. You monster. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You're able to just negate it and then take it for yourself, which is really good. And then not only that, uh, with its last effect, that uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can target a water monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it also has a recycling effect to it. So yeah, I don't really know what Konami was uh, really thinking on this card. I guess people were asking for new frog support, and they delivered. <laughs> they really did deliver on that. And like I said, anything that involves aqua monsters, that should go without saying. So like I said, I want to try this out with Gradle Slime Jr. Uh, Bahamut Shark is also great to use with this. Uh, Bergstoma. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other things too. I guess really anything that has level 2 aqua monsters can work great with this, and that can also use Bahamut Shark. Plain and simple. So yeah, what do you guys think about this card? Are you as terrified as I am about this? Like I said, I could be overly dramatic in this video about it, but just that that's that is a scary card. <laughs> I mean, end of the day, that's about as much as I can say about this card is I am not looking forward to facing frogs now. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments and also what other support you guys are hoping that we're going to see in the future for other archetypes because it seems like everything is free game lately. So just uh, let me know in the comments. For me, I'm hoping to, I guess, see uh, Ojama support. I think that's going to be the thing I'm, I'm hoping for the most. So yeah, just let me know in the comments and uh, if you plan on using this card or not and what with. Like I said, Definitely got to use this with Gradles. Really looking forward to testing this out on Yukio Pro. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments. Of course, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Uh, I plan to do more of these videos where we're going to talk about the new cards coming out. Sorry I've been a little late on that, kind of in behind, because a lot of things going on in life right now. But we're going to try to start making those videos again. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!